Hey Divas, I'm back. Um, this video is not a tutorial or a wig um, review or to show you anything. I need some advice. Seriously. <sighs> okay. I told you guys before that I was marriage. That I was marriage. That I was married previously. Um, it didn't work out. Okay. Duh. Okay, I have two children by that marriage. My oldest one, my 16-year-old, and my 14-year-old. Okay, while I was at work yesterday, I ended up calling my grandmother, my ex-husband's grand grandmother, so their great-grandmother. So, you know, we're kind of cool, but I hadn't talked to her in about seven, eight months. So I call her. And I'm like, hey, you know, how you doing? Whatever this is, Delisha. First thing that hit me is she didn't even recognize me. Okay. She didn't even say, well, hey, Delisha, how you doing? It's uh, the mother of the two boys. Not the mother of, okay, my children's name is, my oldest boy name is Jamoris. And my baby, I call him my baby, but my middle one is named Javon. Okay. She didn't say, okay, Jamoris and Javon's mother. Oh, the, the, you the mom of the two boys? I, to be honest, I wanted to say, what the heck? But I did. I caught myself. I'm like, okay, Delisha, this is not about you. You know, you want to tell them that the kids are okay. They're starting school. You know, y'all could call them every once in a while, whatever. You know, but basically just touching base. Okay. But while we're talking, she tells me that my ex-husband is looking for me. How are you looking for me? You pay child support. You should have my address and my telephone number. Not that I'm going to give it to you, but you should have it. Okay. So, she tells me, you know, he finally has another job again. Because he has a job for every six months. Or every three and don't work the rest of it. Yeah, he wanted them sorry, brothers. Excuse me for saying that, but it's the truth. But what I'm mad about is she's telling me he's trying to get in touch with me, right? I'm like, okay, fine. And, well, I just say, okay, fine. I was like, well, what do you want with me? And she was like, well, um, y'all got kids together. I'm like, so? I mean, for my oldest child who is disabled, he was there the first two years of his life. I was pregnant with my second child when we separated and later divorced. My middle one, Javon, doesn't know anything about his father. He knows, I'll put it this way, he knows his name. Um, he's seen him in 14 years, he's seen him maybe three times. Okay, and for me, it's not about me, my feelings about him personally. It's about what you've done to my children. And I don't know if I'm just overreacting, but I'm like so mad. And it's, it's the point of I'm tired of being the type of woman that's like, okay, even though me and you, our relationship didn't work out. We have children together. So I can put myself to the side just for the sake of these children. And you still act like you don't give a damn about them. That boggles my mind. I mean, I every time I say that, the a term that comes to mind is what my mom always told me. Mama's baby, daddy's maybe. That's full of crap. Why is it that a woman always has to take the full responsibility when you have an irresponsible man? And at, when I met him and we were together the first two years, he was a wonderful father. And I don't know because he had a disabled child that he couldn't handle it or whatever, but he left the relationship. Cool. Bye. I mean, I got over it. But now that my child is 16, my children are 16 and 14, my 16-year-old don't care. You know, he loves everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, I told him, like, you know, your dad is trying to get in touch with you. And I can't say dad because I feel like it's a privilege to call somebody daddy. 
I had a daddy. I had a father and I had a daddy. I mean, what I called him was daddy. You know, that that was, you know, see my father all the way down the street. It's, I didn't call him father daddy. You know, that, that was a privilege. He may not always do what he was supposed to do when he divorced my mom, but he was there for me. I could go to his house. He could call me. He would come and pick us up, me and my sister and my brother. But this person left. Okay, fine. You left me, but you don't leave your children. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, it's just, I'm so mad. I am, I don't know. Am I overreacting? Am I like taking this like overboard? Because I told my, like I said, I told my children that their father's supposed to be calling me. Okay. Well, he did call me. And I told him, I even, I was nice. Instead of getting mad, I didn't, I didn't call him out a name. I wanted to. Don't get me wrong. I'm not there yet. I mean, I haven't, I mean, I get flashbacks. I mean, you're supposed to forgive, but you don't forget. And that's the point. So, when I'm talking to him, he's like, how the boys and all this. Like, we're friends. Hey, how you doing? And I, Do you know I don't like you? That's what I want to tell him. I didn't tell him that. But that's what I want to tell him. Do you know I don't like you? Why are you calling me? This is my home telephone number. Talk, talk, to, talk to your children. Don't talk to me. I don't like you. Please don't talk to me. Because if you really want to know what I think of you, I can give you a whole bunch of words. But I'm like, okay, Delisha, don't, don't go there. Calm down. This is about the children. This is not about you. But I'm tired of my children getting hurt. He'll give them a telephone number. And then call back. Don't work. My oldest child is, you know, mama. You know, um. I want to call my dad. Here. Here's the phone. Go ahead. Mama, the phone is not working. Okay. And I'll tell him, you know, something's going to. I'm tired of lying for him. I'm doing all the work. I'm taking care of them. I'm taking them to school, taking a football practice, karate practice, whatever they want to do. That's me. I'm doing it. You know, I'm, 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 I have a job that, I mean, it's okay. Thank God I have one, but it's not in my field. I'm taking it because it's more convenient for my children than in the field that I'm in. But I'm still taking care of them. You know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's taking the oldest one to the doctor and all this. But then you can feel like you can just call me out the blue and like, hey, what's up? And, you know, and how you doing? And how the last baby you got? How is he doing? Why in the hell? Okay. But I want to say, why in the hell are you asking about my child? You need to be asking about the older two. My middle one, I guess that's the reason why I'm having such a problem. My middle one, Javon. Javon. We call him Javon, even though it's not his name. Javon has a problem. Every day I look at him, he looks more like his dad every day. That doesn't bother me. Hey, it's his. Okay, he's going he to look like his father. But he's the one that's hurting. Because he'll come to me. He came to me even yesterday after I told him. And I guess that's why I got so pissed off. I'm not going to say pissed off. I got so mad. He asked me, he said, Mama, what did I do? And I'm like, what are you talking about, Javon? Mama, why why do my daddy act like that? It hit me so hard. I mean, he it he's talked about it, but he's he's the type of child that he doesn't if it something's hurting him, he's not gonna tell you. And I couldn't I just looked at him and I was like And you know, we play so much, but you know, he's not the type that's like touchy feely. So, you know, I just grabbed him and he's like, Mama, don't be <clears throat> <clears throat> don't do that, you know, I'm like, you know, nobody hugging on me and all of that. I, you know, I'm like, whatever. And I'm just talking to him, I'm like, you know, no matter what your father does, if he don't do right, I can't tell you not to love him, because you're going to love your father anyway. But when you get older, you need to talk to him. And I just told him, your father just, I made a stupid excuse for him, basically. And I feel like I'm tired of making the excuse for him. Basically, I just want your guys input on this. Am I overreacting? 
Can y somebody just give me some advice on what I should do? Should I let him see him? Should I let him call him? Because I'm tired of him coming in and out their lives. Sooner or later, they're going to be grown. So tell me what you think. Seriously. Thank you for watching. I'm like, I really need your advice, guys. Thanks.